Good day, everyone, and welcome back to our channel with new Abraham content. Simply sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Today's video will assist you in discovering something you can do for yourself on a daily basis to heal your power. Are you knowing what you are wanting? That's a good thing. Being clear about what you want is so helpful. Being clear about what you want helps you to know what you're doing vibrationally. In other words, if you're clear about what you want and for some reason you are observing something that opposes it or remembering something or believing something that is in contradiction to your desire. If your desire is focused and sharp and clear within you, then your emotional guidance system will let you know the offness of your vibrational mix. So thinking about what you want is so helpful because it helps you figure out if you are aware of your guidance system and if you know what your emotions mean you can feel your level of personal self destructive opposition to your own desires and that's so helpful because it is only your own personal opposition to your own desires that ever holds anything up or slows it down or keeps you from realizing it fully did you get that in other words no one else can affect you oh well your attention to them and your reaction to them and therefore your vibrational response to them which is included in your vibrational mix certainly that does affect you but you have so much more control over your vibrational mix than you know and being clear about what you want is really an important first step in the stronger activation of your emotional guidance system we want you to be so clear about what you want and your own desires to be so active in your vibration that when other things come they play a very minor role in your vibrational mix and you can tell by the level of your emotion by the degree of it by the bigness or smallness of it you can feel what your emotional involvement is in other words if you're mostly feeling really good and mostly very optimistic and mostly anticipating good things for yourself and for others and you witness something that is other than that you will feel it but you will feel it in proportion and that's really what we want to talk about here today we want to talk about your emotional proportional mix we want to talk about the mix between your desires and your beliefs we want your desires to reign supreme and your beliefs to adjust to them we don't want you to have been dragging a belief around of your inadequacy or of the injustice or unfairness of the world we don't want you to have been dragging one of those beliefs around and using it as a hindrance to the things that you want because those kinds of thoughts do hinder what you want you just cannot give airtime to the things that you're pushing against in your human experience there's a war against drugs and a war against AIDS and a war against cancer and a war against teenage pregnancy and a war against and a war against terrorism a war against war against war against war against war against and every single one of them getting bigger because what you give your attention to you attract to you there is no such thing as the law of exclusion or the law of get that away from me there is no such thing there's only the law of attraction so when you look at something you want to be in your life experience and you give it your attention the law of attraction is this powerful law that is the manager of the vibrational mix and you are a vibrational being do you know that you are vibrational first and foremost and those vibrations turn to thoughts and those thoughts turn to things and yes you live in this world where there is such wonderful manifestation and by that we mean manifestation that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch but when what you see and hear and smell and taste and touch becomes the only thing you think about and you don't give thought to the things that are still in the vibrational mix that are still in the state of becoming when you're not tending to your early stage vibrations that will end up being manifested if you wait until it's manifested before you address it oh there's so much momentum already underway it is much more difficult and it would be so much easier for you to become a dreamer who dreams a dream than a realist who opposes so much that's already here your opposition to what's here messes up your vibration you're dreaming of what is coming and 
we have a little disagreement there because you think that what's in the vibrational mix that you cannot yet see or hear or smell or taste or touch a little bit like the baby in the womb although you do have your devices that let you see it but it's not the same is it the baby in the womb is not the same as the baby in the arms it's a different experience you know that it is let's not get pick over that but you have this vibrational womb so to speak where there are so many things in the gestation process they're in the state of becoming and if you will dream about those and plan for those and think well of those and anticipate the unfolding of the things that you want that life has helped you know that you want if you would give your attention to those things that are in the process of becoming and that's where we're nitpicking you think it's becoming we know it's become and you say well Abraham you think it's become because you're willing to look into this vibrational reality you even named it you wrote two books about it you call it the vortex you want us to believe this thing we cannot see or hear or smell or taste or touch you want us to believe it and you want to call it present tense and as a human you say to us it's hard to call something that we cannot yet see or hear or smell or taste or touch and no one else can either reality it's hard for us to accept the isness of that but you've got to you must accept the isness of what is in motion and you must allow what's vibrationally underway to evolve and become that which you can then see and react to we cannot talk about reaction without talking about law of attraction because your reaction is because of law of attraction so it feels to you like what you're reacting to is a circumstance or maybe what someone said that you're reacting to the condition but really really what you're reacting to is your vibrational habit that caused the condition and so what we would like you to do is to learn to react to the vibration before it's a condition in other words we want you to react it's like if you're driving and the bumps on the road let you know that you're going off the road into the ditch we want you to react from the information and so getting yourself in alignment is about reaction isn't it it's about using your guidance system how could anyone effectively use their guidance system if they're not reacting to the guidance or adjusting to the guidance so when you talk about reacting if you are talking about reacting to a comment or reacting to a situation we want to say it's natural that you would it's just a little too late because once it has come so far that you're having that experience of course then the reaction becomes part of your experience mm. so it really is about catching it earlier it's about caring about the way you feel and catching it as early as you can yes mm. we've been talking a lot about inspiration but we want to remind you all here today that that feeling of inspiration is that feeling of being called it's really a feeling of momentum so you can be inspired from the receptive mode from the receiving mode from source or you could be inspired from your resistant mode from trouble in other words sometimes if someone is behaving in a way that causes a reaction to you you feel like responding in the way you do and so you are inspired you might say you just want to be aware of from what vibrational stance the inspiration is coming mm. you see what we're getting at so there is no way around this other than to consciously acknowledge what the receiving mode feels like compliment yourself when you are there acknowledge the benefit of being there not just because of the results that happen but because of how good it feels along the way and before you know it you just become less willing to think the thoughts that will eventually lead to the more unwanted experience mm. everything's a reaction to the vibration that you've got going on that's really important to acknowledge can you feel how important that is so in this continuum of reactions you just got to decide to what do you want to react and what vibration do you want to practice 
to which you know the universe will respond or react and so someone sort of has to break the evil cycle we're being playful with that word because otherwise it's just a chain of pain and someone has to decide wait a minute I'm not gonna go the way of this momentum I'm gonna do something else but I can't do it right now because the momentum is taking me so I'm just gonna take a hiatus from this conversation or from this topic and I'm gonna focus upon the things where my reaction and the universe's reaction to my reaction is what I want it to be so let's not condemn reaction let's call it a natural consequence of the vibrational universe in which we are all focused and instead let's just talk about getting better at focusing and better at sending a signal to which the universe is going to react and just be playful about it that's really important Esther started playing a game with herself where when wonderful things would happen she would say I did that and when not wonderful things would happen she would say I did that too <laughs> because there's something so empowering about accepting that you are doing it all and the universe is reacting to you now it's fair to say yeah but I reacted to something else before I was offering a vibration that the universe was reacting to and we say doesn't matter doesn't matter so your questions are so important because you're saying so how can I stop being that reactor how can I change the vibration we say you just got to practice and what's at the root of that is really caring how you feel finally once and for all not being willing to put up with negative emotions even if they're not that strong most of you put up with stuff until it gets really big and then you react in a stronger way in other words I'm just not gonna put up with that anymore well you could have had softer subtler reactions all the way along that would have been less impactful for your experience but it's all good isn't it really isn't it all good isn't it all part of the process don't you kind of like figuring things out as you go and so maybe the strongest thing that we'd like to say to you is if you can resist the temptation to beat up on yourself about things and just say well this is good or I needed that or that was good clarification for me or I'm glad that happened because now I understand this or now I've put more into my vortex or 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 in other words just find a way of making peace with yourself do everything you can to make yourself feel better about yourself we think journaling is nice but we would use our journaling to emphasize our momentum we wouldn't use it so much to try to get momentum going as we would when we recognize that we feel good to just keep it going and maybe practice the feeling of it longer what happens with people sometimes is that in the examination they introduce more resistance than is necessary you just have to be aware of how you're feeling when you're doing it so nothing <laughs> in and of itself is ever right or wrong it's how you're feeling about it while you're doing it that really matters and so if you're just really frustrated or discouraged about something we wouldn't journal about it because all you're going to do is enhance and sort of solidify the vibration of resistance but when you're soaring that's when we would journal sometimes by writing it you do remember it but it's simply because you've practiced the vibration of it longer just remember this your brain is not a storage cabinet it's a transmitting and receiving mechanism so rather than trying to remember things just feel as good as you can feel so you're in the receptive mode so that you can receive what's important moment by moment by moment by moment in other words that's where your intuition comes from and your spontaneity and your good timing and your clarity but if you try to remember then you just get all bogged down sometimes Esther will say so-and-so has a really good memory and we remind her it's not memory it's tuning to a frequency that brings that back again have you ever noticed that when you get with this friend you almost always talk about this and when you get with this friend you almost always talk about this and when you get with this friend you almost always talk about this and that's not because you're remembering picking up where you left off it's because that's where you left that active vibration and that's where you're rendezvousing so again you might want to play with your friends is let's see where we're going now let's go our separate ways for a day or however long and let's find our vibrational high place and then let's get back together and see what new thing we accomplish we hope you enjoy our videos which are more than just educational they are also changing people's lives